Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Film Threat Watch Party. My name is Lauren Kling. I am so happy to have you here, and I am so excited because tonight we are going to stream the movie Golden Arm, and we're going to have a conversation with some of the filmmakers and cast from the show. Here's how this works. This is a watch party, and it requires two screens. So you are going to stream the movie on one device like a TV or a laptop or a desktop or a phone, and then you're going to watch the watch party on a second one. What you say, you don't have more than one device, uh, go to a neighbor's house and borrow one. So that's what's going to happen at about 5.15 Pacific time. Uh, we will start the movies on our second devices. We'll keep the volume down so we can keep it in the background. Hilarity will ensue. You can stream movie on Apple TV, Amazon Prime, YouTube, Vudu, Fandango Now, and more. I rented it on every one. And uh, the actors are probably millionaires by all the places you can stream the movie. So we are going to bring on the director in a moment. So let's talk about Golden Arm. It is a low budget buddy slash road trip slash competitive female arm wrestling slash Rad comedy directed by Maureen Baruka, written by Anne Marie Allison and Jenna Milley. Film Threat's own Alan Ng says Mary Holland and Betsy Sodaro make an excellent comedic team with chemistry that I would liken to the odd pairing of Chico Marx and Stan Laurel. Weird, but it works. Why, why, Alan, did you give me the weirdest quote? So, <laughs> why you couldn't have given me. Two actors from an earlier period in TV or film than than Chico Marx and Stan Laurel. So let's move into this decade. So we are going to start that soon. But uh, all right, I, I can't talk anymore. So while you're getting that ready, let's bring on the director. Hello, Maureen. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh my god, I love I'm... that little reference. <laughs> <laughs> did Did you know it, or was this the first time you've heard it? I mean, I know Laurel. I mean, like, what was it? What were the names? The second one. It was oh, Chico Marx and Stan Laurel. So I mean, I know Stan Laurel. Yeah, and Chico Marx was one of the Marx brothers. One I think the there were brothers. like thirty-five Marx brothers, and they all made goofy films. <laughs> I know all of them. A lot of those references from Lucy. I love Lucy, which I also think is like a fun reference for Mary and Betsy, <laughs> but more modern. You know, a mix of a little bit of that in there. Right. The fact that that I Love Lucy is a much more modern <laughs> comparison. <laughs> so we'll bring on, uh, we've got Mary and Betsy, we'll bring them on in a little bit and they can duke it out, decide who's Chico and who's Stan Laurel. All right. They can arm wrestle for it. <laughs> they can arm wrestle. So this movie is awesome. It was supposed to premiere at South by Southwest back in the day. And back in the day was when? I mean, actually a year ago. So it was supposed to premiere at South by Southwest last March. So, you know, oh. we just, we had a pause for a full year, um, like how the world did. But you know what? I actually feel like it was perfect timing for the movie to come out now, kind of as we all go back into the world. It's it's about your friends and going to bars and going on road trips and going to sporting events and just being together again. So it was kind of a bummer that it didn't play South by, but in the end, I feel like it's it's coming out right when the world needs it. Yes, definitely. It's a great movie. I love it. And I love the people that are in it. And this movie felt like a bunch of friends getting together to make a film, which is the great thing about indie filmmaking. Did any of these people know each other before the film? Yes. I mean, one of the things that, I mean, I guess I like to call myself a collector. <laughs> so what I love about Golden Arm is that, um, Kind of everybody in this movie, aside from the new people that we met in Oklahoma, the amazing crew there, were are all of my favorite comedians that I've worked with on different projects. The DP Christmas scene I went to film school with, the AD I worked on another project with, Seth Farley, my production designer. She did my first movie. Mary and Betsy I've worked with before, Ron Funches, my brother Ahmed plays Jerry. So it really did feel like we were all kind of coming together like this crazy circus. And we kind of all just like put our heads together and made this really fun movie. And it felt like magic on the set. It was just that much fun. Yeah. How long uh, was the shoot? We shot for 20 days in Oklahoma in the heat of the summer. So, you know, <laughs> we were sweating together in Oklahoma City for 20 days. There were there was a scene 
later on where your brother's character Jerry pops in and uh, at a bar and for some reason I noticed I said where did his character just run from because it was under his arms and around his neck and I'm like was he supposed to have just worked out <laughs> that was actually um, Betsy's pitch for the character of Jerry is that he was always sweaty so as soon as she said I was like yeah that sounds great like and immediately he was just sweaty. <laughs> he didn't really have a say in the matter but uh it was, so he was extra sweaty from just being sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> now, not only uh, was your brother in it, but your father had a cameo? Yeah, he plays a ref, actually. I mean, again, and, and, and a little known fact is my sister did some group looping. So her voice can be heard in the crowd. So, um, yeah, I like to get my family to to do some of uh, the dirty work. <laughs> of course. That's that's what indie filmmaking is all about. You get whoever you can. And then Amory well, Allison, one of the writers, her mom is in the her mom is in the crowd as well. Her mom and dad. Um, and so there, there are a lot of little cameos from all the, the people in the movie. So especially in those arm wrestling crowds. Awesome. I can't wait for you to point them out uh, later on. Oh yeah. So then they can your parents can start going to comic conventions and doing the uh, doing the autograph tables. So uh, if you're just joining us, we are here for the Film Threat Watch Party for Golden Arm. We're going to start it in about nine and a half minutes. If you don't have it, uh, rent it right now. We'll stream it at 5.15 Pacific time. Also, post your questions. We want to hear from you while we're watching the movie. Thoughts, suggestions. Um, yeah, bring it on. We want to hear it all. Right. About filmmaking, about improv, about uh, Arm who wrestling, knows? comedy. Oklahoma, good places to eat. That's like a lot oh, of the stuff that we talk about all the time. Now, can you talk about places to eat in Oklahoma? You could probably speak yeah. on that. I there were so many great places to eat. Like I, I have to say, I, I was like so shocked. I was it, I dream about some of the places we went to. <laughs> well, cool. All right. Enough of just us. Let's bring on our cast. So why don't you introduce our two cast members right here? Hello. I mean Woo! The two, my two muses that are like two of the funniest women, best people I know, Mary Holland and Betsy Zadaro. Oh, <laughs> yay! Thank you! <laughs> That's so nice! Oh. so nice! Oh. Hi! We're so excited oh. to be here! Thank you yeah. so much for taking your Friday evening because now that uh, pandemic is ending, Soon you will have to come up with an excuse why you can't come to these watch parties. But for now, what else are you going to do, right? Exactly. Yeah. What, what else, else are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, what else are you going to do? Just be oh. here. I know. All right. So Mary and Betsy, so we have to ask the most important questions. Favorite restaurants in Oklahoma during filming? <laughs> Oh, yes. I, oh, that, that yes. Mexican restaurant was my favorite. Oh, that Mexican restaurant we went to. Oh, yeah, that oh, place yeah. is great. I, yeah, yeah, the I like that. them. It was in the Paseo, right? The Paseo yeah. is a great area for great restaurants. Very so, cool. Those Very big truck cool. tacos were good, too. I think big really truck good. tacos was really oh, great. Yeah. That was right by my Airbnb, so I went a lot. And Edna's <laughs> where we shot had great, uh, had great drinks. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, check out Edna's. Edna's, home of the lunchbox. <laughs> now, is Mexican food different in Oklahoma than it is in LA? I mean, it was tasty. <laughs> yeah. It was tasty, okay. You know, yeah. they had, a, they had a, a lot of really good Vietnamese food. There's a large Vietnamese oh, Yes. Some great pho, like some amazing pho. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we I ate a, a bunch of banh mi's. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just talk about food and somebody Postmates food to all of our locations? <gasps> that would yeah, be awesome. that would be awesome if somebody wants. Whoever to. brings the great. food can be on. They can be on the. They can be on the watch party with us. <laughs> yes. 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 All right. So, not that we. I love talking about food, but all right. If each of you could Postmates one restaurant near you right now, where would it be? Ooh. Betsy, you look so excited to answer this question. I mean, any food question, I'm pumped. Uh, ooh, <laughs> and, and I go, I go first now. I go first. And <laughs> if you want, I'm gonna say Giamella's subs in Atwater. 
Because I've been craving a big old sloppy sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm gonna say bod mush. I live over in the Fairfax district, and that's my favorite Indian food. Like, it's Yum. like some of the homemade stuff that my grandma made. Like, it's it's legit. So, bod mush. Got Yum. it. Um, How about you, Mary? Uh, I guess I don't know this area too well. Um, All, right. <laughs> All right. Well, then if you were back home, let's open it up to the world. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. If I was back home, I would love to get a, a sandwich from Wax Paper. Oh. Delicious sandwiches. Yeah. Named after NPR personalities. I like you great. guys both went sandwiches and I went like just messy, sloppy. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go with um, my favorite pizza and pasta at a place called Cruiser's Pizza. It's plant-based. Ooh, and yeah. I swear, I swear they're, they put something in the spaghetti that makes it so ooey gooey and messy. Ooh, What's whoa. it called again? It's called Cruiser's Pizza. Cruiser's. It's in like Hollywood. Oh, I'm going to have to try that. Nice. Yeah. All right. If you're just joining us, we have four minutes until we start the movie. Post your comments. Tell us where you would like to order Postmates from if some dream... <laughs> We could magically sprinkle I mean, the pixie dust. Bodmash, you have to order on DoorDash, actually. So. Oh, okay. oh, okay. It's, it's only available on if, DoorDash. If you are in Atlanta and you you and you and know of good places to get food from, you, t you tell me right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm all about it. I'm open to we, suggestions. We want to make this like a next door app kind of thing. <laughs> so go ahead and post like dog nappings and creepy people and <laughs> yes we want to know about next? creepy people for sure <laughs> <laughs> so uh betsy and mary how long have you two known each other because i couldn't scroll far enough back in your instagrams to see any pre-friendship pictures at all yeah, I don't. I think our friendship goes before I got Instagram. Same. Yeah, it's we've been friends for ten years, ten plus years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think this so. Yeah. Community we doing comedy and improv, known each other a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Now, is this through UCB? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so UCB Upright Citizens Brigade out here in Los Angeles. It started in New York. Do you did you meet each other in a class? Like, do you remember the first time you met each other? Oh my gosh, I feel like Betsy, you were performing uh, when I was still going through classes. I feel like we definitely saw each other on like the indie. Yeah, indie I feel scene. that's where we kind of first started. Because yeah. I remember seeing you and being like, oh, she's funny. Let's be friends. <laughs> In like, yeah, at like Crash Dang. Bar or somewhere like that of just like. Yeah, yeah. so like, because we never had classes together, but. No, no. But I would watch you perform it at UCB. All that you were a star right <sighs> off the bat. <sighs> I said it. There. I, said it. I think we need to drink to that. That's, oh my that's God. a wonderful comment. Cheers. Cheers! Oh, oh! Mm. That's wonderful. Mm. So we have a food suggestion from uh, oh. from Al, Mister Mr. Beast, Beast Burgers. Yeah, this in Atlanta, my pal. Yeah, we need clarification from Alan if that's um, if that's in Atlanta. We also need clarification on where he came up with um, with. Uh, um, Chico Marx and uh, who is the other one? Chico Marx and Stan Laurel, where that yeah. that came from. <laughs> Betsy or Mary, do you know who those two are? Have you seen their catalog of uh, films? Yeah, I've seen the catalog, but I've seen, but I know, <laughs> I'm familiar with with both. <clears throat> right, I grew up loving all of that old timey stuff. In fifth grade, I did like a big report on like. The Three Stooges, Laurel and Hardy, and the Marx Brothers. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. yeah. yeah. I got like miss class to go to the library to work on that. <laughs> it was sweet. 
<laughs> you still have a copy of that? I'd like to read it. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a thing you I don't, Oh, you like, know, it was a... Um, It was like a visual, like, pa like kind of the beginning of PowerPoint. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. all on the That's computer. Amazing. And then my friend Jonathan did his on camels. <laughs> I was so, gonna, yeah. okay, so the presentation was on camels? He brought camels into the classroom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Yep. I was oh going to say, God. I wonder if in fifth, if fifth grade is that, because I have a weird, like, in fifth grade, I did, we did bi biographies as well. And you had, I did Renoir, the painter. Oh. And you had to come to class dressed as the person that you were doing. So I came to class in a cotton ball beard in a wheelchair because he had arthritis at the end of his life and did oh. my did my thing. But nobody in my class knew who Renoir was. Like people did right. know Michael J. Fox wow. and I was like doing yeah. Renoir. <laughs> weird kid. I was the only one that got to class. But maybe it's like fifth grade where you do those, like, you know, the biography reports. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds yeah. right. <clears throat> That's awesome. All right. It's 516. I completely lost track of time. Uh, was oh there a movie gosh. we were supposed to run? Did that just, I forgot about that. So, um, so here's what you're going to do. Why don't we start the film? So all y'all watching us, why don't you get your phones or your TVs ready to go? Turn them on, unlock them. If you're not on your home Wi-Fi and you have to unlock it every dang time. And if you have fingers like me, you have to do it multiple times. And then get it ready. And then I will do a countdown. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Ready. I'm ready. Whoop. Nope. Okay. I'm ready. Are we ready, Mary, Betsy, Maureen? Ready. All right. Five, four. Three, two, one, and play. We did it. We did and then turn it down. Oh. All right. Okay. There we go. So we've got Utopia. the credits. <laughs> Yay. So, oh, and Alan clarifies that Mr. Beast Burger is nationwide. Thank oh. you. Thank you for the clarification. Yeah. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Mary. Nationwide, folks. Go there. Awesome. <laughs> so, all right. So, Maureen, uh, before we brought on Betsy and Mary, I was asking you about South by Southwest and your plan to yeah. show the movie and have your cast there. And you actually wrote an article, was it on Vanity Fair or Deadline, about the experience? It was the Hollywood Reporter. I, I wrote like a little... Okay. Hollywood Reporter. Just, uh, yeah, about like... At the time, too, you know, it's the beginning of the pandemic and feeling those sad feelings that we weren't getting to go, but then also realizing, like, there was a, a bigger thing happening in the world. So just kind of what that was like about feeling bummed out, but then also, like, yeah, people are dying. And <laughs> maybe this isn't that big of a deal, but just, like, you know, being honest about, like, we were so looking forward to it. So. Oh, we were going to rip so uh, hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were. And it was just, like, five days before we were about to leave to, to right? the wow. that, it, that everything got shut down. Yeah, we kept checking in with each other. We're like, I'm still going to go. Are you still going to go? It's like, I'm going. Yeah. Like, we were like, nothing will stop us. Yeah. <laughs> it, was like, it was just the flu, man. <laughs> I was totally that person for, for yeah, up until like, oh, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> not. yeah. Holy shit. And, and then toilet paper disappeared. <laughs> like it was just this magical thing, right? Yeah. Yep. By the way, this is the bar that we're talking about, Edna's, which is a real place in Oklahoma. Super cool. Like, you know, we we, we stepped foot in there and we're like, oh, dollar bills on the wall, like family owned, like a just a super cool joint in Oklahoma City. Yeah, because like Edna's daughter now runs it, right? Yeah. And she was like there hanging out and she was super cool. We, after we shot this scene, we the uh, production was like, everybody come out to the bar we're gonna we're gonna like buy drinks for everybody <laughs> it so was they're, like, awesome out the scene and we were just <laughs> hanging out so, partying and all the locals that came out like that bar just, i mean oh i'm in love yeah, with every fun. extra in that bar <laughs> oh everybody is so incredible Absolutely. everybody because they were authentic who was your dp i loved how it was shot i love the look and style yeah uh chris messina christopher messina who is such an incredible, he's a genius. Uh, he he went to, rocks. 
He's so yeah. great. We went to film school together, and Chris is New York based, and oh. I was. Yeah, we got, we got, we got. You got to get on this, and so I'm so grateful that he did because he made he made the movie look just killer. He's so it. rad. Now, Thanks. Betsy and Mary, have you had cinematographers or DPs that weren't so rad? And you don't have to name names, but what is the difference between a great DP to work for and a not so great DP to work for? Hmm. Whoa. I mean. True, like Chris had such a great sense of humor. Also, like just kept like this was so much. This was all of the crew was like, let's get everything done, but have a good time while we do it. You know, right. and w they walked such a perfect Chris, including like such a perfect li line of having fun but keeping it very professional, yeah. um, which just made everything so comfortable all around yeah um, i think chris too was so he had he has such a steady energy like he's just very yes. very calm and no matter like how i'm sure in, internally he was incredibly stressed because we the, we had such a limited time to get so much um footage but he was just very even keeled and calm and he and maureen had like this yes, this, this language between each other that where they were totally on the same page <laughs> like it was, it was it was so wild cool. watching them together of just like whoa you guys know exactly what <laughs> each other's thinking and like if there was ever a moment like a question the other one had an answer immediately and it was just like okay great no, there we yeah. go. I mean, I Chris yeah. is yeah. It was it's a funny thing. Like I feel like when we would watch blocking, me and Chris would just look at each other and be like, <laughs> you know, or just like we. I found stay. myself constantly trying, in addition to trying to make you laugh, Maureen, and you laugh, Betsy, and every and any all the crew that was around laugh. If I could get a little smile from Chris, yeah, made my day, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, big time. Big this time. is my actual husband. Um, oh man! Playing my ex-husband is my my true husband. Your ex-husband, your real husband. I mean, Matt was like a heavy, heavy hitter that we brought in. He was kind of like a secret weapon where it was like, Matt, we did like being like, can you come in and do this favor? And then you know, just killing it. All all that stuff was like impro improvised mostly. It was like so wait. funny. Is is this the Matt that married you on Halloween in a carport? You Just nailed the... it. <laughs> <laughs> I That's love him. that. Can you share that story? Why? A, I mean, Halloween, yes, but why a car? Yes, Halloween, yes, of course. It's our favorite holiday. Um, well, we were going to get married in uh, North Carolina with our families, but then a pandemic happened and we decided we still, we just wanted to, to still have that moment. And so we just did it right, right in our backyard and um yeah it was really really special and you know got to see some friends after and that was really nice but um yes it was a totally unique experience yeah i love it any, so much anybody else have any carport stories i mean i could talk about my grandma and louis in uh Shreveport, who had a carport, but that's as far as I go. <laughs> I feel like Mo, we celebrated your birthday in a in a sort of carport back. Oh yeah, Carolina. my sister did her. <laughs> my sister, she timed it out where she like scheduled people, brought people in to like sanitize stuff, but she had like a schedule. She was like, you get a window of time, you come for a visit. Yeah, she, she was on top of it. <laughs> she was good. She's like, okay, it's time for you to finish your drinks and get out of here. Like, okay. <laughs> That sounds more like a parent. Like I go to bed early. Falcon Crest is on. Yes, it's the eighties. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. Get um, out of here. Here's a fun fact about this cappuccino machine. Couldn't oh. make couldn't make a latte to save my life. And they they really tried to coach me. The the one of the owners of this cafe really tried to coach me. Couldn't do it. Couldn't I, do whoever it. can do latte art, it's very impressive. By the way, this place has like the best coffee in Oklahoma. <laughs> yes, this place is so good. We had we went we went we me and Chris would call it scouting. We'd be like we have to go scout <laughs> the coffee shop again. 
And it was just like, a, it was just an excuse to go get coffee every morning here. Yes. <laughs> Charge that Lauren Canuti, so funny. Lauren Canuti, oh, so uh, good. So funny. Alan wants to he know what arm wrestling hitter. training was yeah. like. Can anybody speak to that? Oh, well, I mean, we we really got trained uh, in real time by Dot Marie Jones, who will will pop up here in a little bit. Who um, she coached us, she educated all of us in uh, proper art wrestling technique and the rules yeah. and regulations. Um, I mean, I did some push ups. I don't know. I did some push ups. Mary, Mary, got Mary, was like, Mary came in with like, we were, again, me and Chris were like, look at Mary's arm. <laughs> good lighting, good lighting. Um, but yeah, watching the watching a ton of videos of amateur arm wrestling and then uh, professional and you know, trying to understand more about the sport. Yeah. And then it was that kid that was there the first day and just taught us everything. <laughs> like really every everything. little thing. We just all of us the were grit, just like the angle. Yeah. Tell us more. What's really cool is like, you know, Dot Kip comes from like the, the super pro, you know, so she knows all the professional stuff. And then Amory, one of the writers, she comes from the world that we're kind of exploring here where it's like the like dressing up and the kind of like regular women that are doing so it was kind of a cool cross section to have both of them kind of on set that we could like ask questions to you know yes yeah yeah that's awesome we did uh, we saw it a moment ago there was a flashback and i'm gonna bring up this picture <laughs> this has got to be my favorite thing <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, me too. I mean, oh, Betsy. Can you, Mary and Betsy, talk about that look and who came up with it? And were these any of your actual clothes? I'm or gonna hair? let Betsy take this one. Because, uh, well, we were just kind of, uh, it was, I feel the first day that Mary got to Oklahoma and we were like doing makeup and hair tests and like, just kind of losing our, just having a blast, like just being yeah. so excited. And uh, Maureen came into the makeup trailer. And I don't know, I honestly don't know how we started talking about it that. Was on, honestly, Mary and Betsy both pitched their looks. They were like, there was a flashback of them in college, you know, and we hadn't really talked about it. And you guys both were like, this is what I would want to be. And I was, it was easy for me to see. Like, yeah. Immediately was like, could I be goth? <laughs> <laughs> and I have brought with me a pair of, from the movie Greener Grass, uh, directed, um, directed by Don Luby and Jocelyn DeBoer. And Don is, is in this movie, she's so funny. But they, from that movie, they, we all went home with like our own personal, like customized set of fake braces. And so I brought those with me knowing I need them. <laughs> and uh and i did they they work perfectly for that scene <laughs> i think it was just like such a funny little moment to flash back to where it's like let's look crazy different <laughs> like i and think is, those jokes are so funny from the call it like oh my god there's like a whole other there's like uh, like 30 minutes of just like college like them doing scene work that's all improvised <laughs> at, at, at those characters <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I have a question, a filmmaking question about these scenes here in the truck. Now, there's something called a process trailer, and correct me if I'm wrong, where sometimes actors will be in a car but not really driving, like it's a steak bed. So I was curious with this truck, is this filmed in an actual truck? Is there some magic behind this? Betsy, do you have your class big rig uh, license <laughs> that we don't know about? <laughs> Yes. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm just driving it, man. Honestly, yes. I mean, so this was my big thing going into this movie. The like, I feel like the thing that I was like, I just got to fight for it is that we can't shoot green screen because it just looks like poop no matter what. Like, it takes you out of the movie. So, and Chris was on the same page. He, you know, he didn't want to make anything that looked like garbage. So he kept being like, we couldn't afford a process trailer. <gasps> oh, hey, oh, oh, no! No! what? Oh, what? Hello. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All the way from uh, all the way from wherever they are, Matt and Ron, who's uh, taking a break from a production. How are you guys? I'm good. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Okay. I'm yeah. Good. We can yeah. hear you. Yes. Hi. Hi, Biz. 
Hey! Oh, oh my Hello. gosh! That's oh, that's nice. oh, is that Mary talking? Oh yes, I was just telling. I was just saying to Matt that we just watched his scene oh. where oh, he's yeah. um, so mm -hmm. funny. So funny. So funny. <laughs> so Matt, we had talked about how you got married uh, in a carport, and then we were we went on a long discussion about carports and carport <laughs> humor. It was great. It was parkour, great. Parkour. <laughs> it's all the it's same. All the same. <laughs> and uh, Ron, are you on uh, production right now? And can you I say am. anything about what you're working on? Sure, I don't care. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm hosting a, 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 I, I finally, through many years of hard work, have reached the pinnacle of comedy, and I am hosting a slip and slide water theme park theme game show with Bobby Moynihan for NBC. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It is. <laughs> this sounds off like a slip and slide, it. but on TV. It's like slip and slide, but they're huge and giant. <laughs> And people try to climb up them and slide down them, but tell you what, uh, it's difficult, and we make fun of them. It's I can't. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I gotta say, Ron, I don't know how long we have you, but Not very I long. really. Okay. <laughs> he slides. And, and he just slides away. <laughs> I feel like Ron's just going to slowly slide out of frame at some point. We'll know he's gone at some point. Um, so while you're here, I got to say, Ron, I really loved your character in this because you're a stand-up comic, and but your role was, was pretty held back. Like you were a fun character, but you really weren't pushing the comedy. Did Was that a plan? Yeah, well, I think overall, the, I mean, it's not about me, you know? Is this, the movie isn't about me at all. So it would be one thing for me to be selfish and try to be like, let me try to like make every one of my lines a punchline or everything this laugh out loud line. But I knew my job. My job in the movie was like Carl's job in the, in the tournament. I'm there to help these women shine. I'm there to be a part of like, I'm there basically as a play thing for Betsy to throw away whenever she chooses. So <laughs> Oh. That's uh, my job, and I stuck to it. Uh -oh. I mean, Ron and Betsy together, they're like, you know, I mean, obviously, like, their Marco Polo was all of that. That was improvised. Like, they, oh, <laughs> so I, mean, I just think I laughed so hard. And, like, there's so much stuff that, again, is going to come out, like, extra stuff of them just doing so much funny stuff on that uh, that balcony. <laughs> yeah, it was That's awesome. And, and then we went nuts. <laughs> Yeah, and then so I think I read that uh, some of this was improvised. How much of the improvisation did you actually keep in, and how much did you have to uh, pull out? I mean, you know, it's like it's a mixture. It's you know, it's p punching up jokes that are scripted, and then it's like letting real moments live. Um, but yeah, it's like you you have all these incredible comedians. You're gonna let them you're gonna let them have fun and let them you know do their thing because that's the magic. So if you're just joining us now, we're uh, watching Ron. He's actually a Postmates driver. He's picking up our food at My Beast, Mr. Beast Burgers, to surprise us all. That's his name. He's the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes host. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, slip and slide, dude. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to bring up his screen, not me. Hold on. <laughs> There we go, Ron. We were trying to oh, we were trying to take a peek at what you're, where you are, oh, and what it looks like. Oh my god! Can we go there? <laughs> I want to go. I want to go so bad. Oh, that was so Man, fun. When I was a kid, oh, I my neighbor had one the same exact size. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. So we just had a trash bag. <laughs> a slip and slide in golf carts. What? It, what's better than that? It's like you're at summer camp. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. It's like a the best, but so I got to go now. <laughs> Thank you, Bye, Ron. Bye, Thank Ron. you, Ron, so much. Thank you for uh, jumping in. Good luck. <laughs> yes. Wow. I can't wait to go to a water park. I know.
<laughs> I've been to a water park. Let's do one ourselves. Time. Well, let's just well, go. Yeah. Like, we can just show up at Ron's work. Let's yeah. just go surprise him. Yeah, let's just go. Wasn't there that, that sure, why not? got in trouble for just being like, uh, what was that? Did we watch a documentary, Mary, about Action like, Park? Oh, yeah, yeah, Action Park. Class yeah. Action Park. Class, Class Action yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah. That place oh. looked wild. Oh, that's what happened if we would make a water park. People would just, yeah. like, just cement. You would just like have shins, like broken shins. Exactly. Just constantly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Betsy, we have somebody you may know, Amy Statton, wanted to thank you for uh, shooting the bar fight scene in, o in uh, Oklahoma Ooh, City. Hey. Hell yeah! Let's raise a glass for Amy. Thank you. Hey, Amy! Hey, Amy. <laughs> Very fun. Oh. Every bar fight scene was such a, a, a blast to shoot. It feels cool, oh. man. <laughs> Fake punching and stuff feels awesome. Everybody should do it. Did you have a stunt it. coordinator, uh, Betsy? Yes. Did you have to? You had a stunt coordinator. Yes, yep. but I, I was very to Maureen. I was like, let me, let me do as much as possible, please. That seems like the Tom Cruise of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> she said no. Uh, well, is it? She did all You're the stunts. People who didn't have a mask on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a publicity stunt, you know. <laughs> No, he meant it. He meant it. He meant it for real. <laughs> Got it. All right. This this is the thing that yes, Amy will always remember. I punched you, Amy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you oh. for watching, Amy. I appreciate that. Thanks, Amy. Uh, so, Matt, how did you get involved in this whole crazy thing? Um, I knew every. I knew Maureen and uh, Mary and Betsy. <laughs> I was dating Mary, and I'd known Maureen and Betsy for a while, and uh, the... <laughs> Honest, <laughs> honestly, though, like, Matt, I've been such a fan of Matt's for a long time. Matt is, like, one of the funniest yes. improvisers, and when Mary came on, I was like, do you think Matt would want to do it? Like, I side texted her. I was like, because, again, it was like, you want to climb out and fly to Oklahoma for, like, a day? Like, do you think he'd want to do it? So I actually was yeah. like, Mary, maybe he won't want to do it, because it was kind of like a favor ask. <laughs> It was so fun. I have. So it, was, it was so fun. I'm a big fan of Maureen and Betsy and Mary. Uh, That's nice. <laughs> what? So those were your vows, right? <laughs> in that those order. Right now, so. Yeah, in that order. <laughs> you two were in them, yeah. Um, and, it's, and I have me and Mary improvise a lot, and uh, I just uh, I. This is going to sound weird, but I have a blast fake fighting with Mary. Yes, uh, we sure do. <laughs> we do a lot of bits at home where we fake, uh, where we get mad at each other. It's, lots of fun. it's very fun. It's uh, you gotta, you gotta. Everybody come to our house sometime and and watch us fake fight. It's everybody. a great show. <laughs> the real Vir uh, who's great. Virginia Wolf. Yes, exactly. Right. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was lots of fun to do. My it. friend Jim, who uh, is, oh, he's sending me food from my favorite bar in the entire world. It, he can't because it's yeah. in San Diego, Jim. Whoa, Jim. It's, it's going to get here in three hours. He's sending me a beer wow. and curry wow, fries. That's a nice friend. <laughs> it is, really Jim. Nice. Thank you. Way to go, so they Jim. have these curry fries. It's basically steak cut fries with like a Ooh. curry sauce. Oh, shit. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, Betsy just swore we got to take a drink. Oh, uh -oh. oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. No. <laughs> I'm also going to take off. I'm going to make dinner. Now I'm getting hungry. Bye, Matt. <laughs> yes. Bye, Thank Matt. You. Bye. Thank you. Oh, wait. Who is this? Oh! Hey. You Hi. did. Hi. This is a real fun par watch party. I feel like it's just like. Oh my gosh! It does feel like a party. <laughs> Hi, Eugene, welcome, how are Eugene you? Cordero. I'm good. I'm good. You know, um, <laughs> I'm about to shoot. It's a night shoot today, even though it's going to be like sunny in Vancouver for like another. All right. I don't know, like four or five hours, but hey, we're oh here. My gosh. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Eugene! Hi. Hi. Oh, Welcome. it's good to see your face. 
Eugene, How's you it? played the uh, uh, a love interest, and you played the ref. You and Mary had a wonderful scene at a baseball park. Was that improvised? Was that scripted? And it felt like it was like a 10 minute long get to know you date scene. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all, of, all of the words that you just said are correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it was, uh, it, no, no, no. It was, it was written ish in there. And then, and then it was, you know, kind of uh, improvised in a way, but then like honed down by Maureen and, yeah. And, um, you know, but it, yeah, but it was a 10 minute get to know you scene right in the, you know. What's fun about it is that we were, there was a scripted scene that we were waiting for nighttime and then it was magic hour. And you're like, I'd be a fool not to try to shoot something during magic hour. So Mary had this like, you know, that was like an improvised like fantasy. So I was like, let's not tell Eugene. And so the first part of that is actually improvised. And then from there, it would be like, let's, we did, I think we did it like five times. Mm -hmm. But then what you can't hear is me from the sideline being like, now kiss her, do this. Like, we cut my part out. But um, we yeah. needed that was, coaching. Was, we needed that coaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really rude. You know? <laughs> it was honestly, rude. It felt, it felt like high school all over again. So <laughs> like, kiss her do already. It already. <laughs> Just make a move. Was Matt on set at the time? No, he wasn't. No, <laughs> he was not. He he was offset, but he was in the bushes going, do it. Yeah. <laughs> but that is one of my favorite scenes, especially because it just happened organically, and it was workshopped and molded as we as we did each take. It was it was it's such a fun, memorable scene. Yeah, and again, was, how Chris it shot it. It was like there's not many. There's like two cuts. <clears throat> yeah. It was it was a really cute scene, Eugene. I I think I, it looks like you're wearing the purple and gold, so I'm gonna assume you're uh, an LA native. Uh, oh, uh, Golden State. Gold, sorry. Gold, oh, Golden. Like, all right. I'm in, I'm, um, I'm in I'm in wardrobe though, so what I'm doing is probably not a good idea. But I <laughs> all right. Um, Don't need to I'm say anything more. In um in what I'm shooting now, so. Got it. Will all right. Send, will you hold up the sides and the script so we yeah, can? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Page by page. Yeah, page uh, by page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold up your that. NDA because I don't think you can. I think you can show that publicly, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I just can show it. Yeah. So, Maureen, while we have Eugene, and Eugene, let us know when you have to go. I know you've only got four hours of sunlight left. Yeah, um, I'll probably get yelled at pretty soon, though. I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, um, Maureen, how did you find Eugene? How did how do you uh, how did you get him in this role? Again, I feel like uh, I'm a collector. I worked with Eugene uh, many moons ago on a sprinkle short film that I did, um, and again, I've always been such a fan. So. It was basically like just convincing him that, you know, come do this movie and us calculatedly being like, okay, how do we make it happen? Um, but Eugene is always somebody that I wanted to be in the movie. So it was not an, it was not a hard, a hard thing. <laughs> Got it. And Eugene, do you come from the sketch or improv scene as well? Uh, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I come from the improv uh, gang. And, a legend. Uh, and, yeah. Um, yeah. A legend. Another heavy hitter. Heavy hitter. The yeah. heavy hitter, for sure. Yeah. Are you another UCB alum? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I just got... <laughs> yeah, he just got stitches. He just got spades. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, no. Well, congrats! Yeah. That means you're growing up. So he's not... um. He's uh, he can't have kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, that was Joe. Hey, Joe yeah. Well, it's his movie. Hello, Joe. If he's not mad at me <laughs> now, he'll be mad at me once I stop doing it. Busted! Busted! So, so Eugene, oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Hi, mom. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes. Uh, she, oh, boy, she God. has a laugh when I did stand up. I could tell it was my mom. So, hi, mom. Thank you for watching. Yay. 
Yay, I know it's dinner time, so thank you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, uh, somebody wants to know, uh, no, we haven't discussed, why Oklahoma for the shoot? I think we we you know we kind of we kind of scouted a, a bunch of places and one Oklahoma just kind of has a really cool different vibe that you haven't seen and then on top of that they had a, a good tax incentive so we're like let's go there. Got it. And was there somebody that suggested Oklahoma or suggested specific areas to shoot in the state? Well, um, we I'm a really huge tax incentive guy. <laughs> Um, so once I heard Oklahoma was a possible tax, you know, incentive place, I was like, I, you know, I jumped the gun and I was like, the only way I can do this movie is if there's some tax, you know, incentive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have, one, we, have, we have another, we have I, another uh, one of our cast members that just showed up. I, I gotta go out. though. I'll see Bye, you Eugene. Later. Eugene, Bye, thank Eugene. you for joining. Good luck. <laughs> Ahmed, really welcome. Hey guys, how's it going? It really is like one person, one person comes. Like a clown car. Yeah, we're a we, clown car over here. <laughs> this welcome. is the so, we're we watching it, but are we it's playing in the background. We're now we're with uh we're at Big Sexy's bar, but we're also just kind of like you oh, know. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Melanie's gonna freak out. Melanie's gonna lose it. <laughs> Melanie's gonna freak out. Freak out. She's gonna get hysterical. Uh -huh. Yeah, this uh this strip club ruled. Uh, oh yeah, we, we, we came here. We went. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> we shot there for a week and then we went that Saturday and lost our minds and it was awesome. <laughs> they're they're like Lunch is apparently really good. Uh, the chicken strippers were on the menu, remember? The chicken the strippers. Chicken strippers. <laughs> really good. <laughs> it, it ruled. Double D's ruled. Double now, D's now ruled. You got to go. Does production <laughs> give you the funny money? <laughs> No, Ooh. this is out of pocket. This is out of pocket, baby. gladly, happily out of pocket. <laughs> That's right. Production paid everything that I got. <laughs> okay. I gotta say, when we scout, we had to scout during like during working hours. So that was the most interesting thing to do is scout actual strip joints while they were open. Fun, <laughs> ah, fun, man. Uh, Maureen, I I can't wait for your next uh, movie to come out. So as part of your bio, you can recall having to spend a day scouting uh, strip clubs in the day. <laughs> Actually, we went to one where. What was my favorite was basically we went to the strip joint. We didn't use it, but he's he basically at the end of our scout said that it was haunted by old strippers. Right. He, he was like, and not joking. He was legit. Like he was like, he's he said something about how oh if you have batteries they probably die. And we're like, I said, is this place haunted? And he was like, a hundred percent. We gotta go now, back, man. We gotta go Betsy, back right now. You like a huge horror fan, don't you? Isn't one of your podcasts? About yes. these stories? Yes. Did you know about this? And has Maureen been on your podcast yet? Maureen has. And Mary has. I'm at your next. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. We went to um what's the, the fancy hotel downtown? Oh, yeah, we, in, went we went right? ghost hunting. What yeah. was it? I can't remember. There was an S. The st not the st <laughs> what was the st hotel. yeah, not the shining. The movie. Um, <laughs> but yeah, remember they said there was like one floor that was haunted, like in particular was haunted. And we went up to it. And I have a ghost oh, yeah. detector app on oh, my yes. phone. Oh, yes, we went ghost hunting. <laughs> we did a lot of really fun stuff while we were going. We went ghost hunting. We went to like the uh, drag shows. We went to a, a Yeah, we went to a bunch meeting. of drag shows. <laughs> Um, it was fun. We yeah. filmed a movie. Yeah, we filmed a movie too. Oh yeah, we also filmed a oh, movie. Right, right, right. We made went to a lot of places to eat. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. Mary. So, Ahmed, you know we started okay. this talking about food, and now you're eating, and now all of us are wanting you to share. So can I'm you just pass? This. this isn't real. This is uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's fake. Wow. Maureen, how many days? Uh, what was your shoot schedule? How many hours a day? How many days a week? 
I mean, like I said, we shot 20 days and we had some full, we had like pretty full days. I mean, cause we, again, the, the, the fact that I like wanted us, you know, everybody to kind of open it up and improvise. And so you need some time for that. Um, and again, what's great about Chris Messina is that he kind of is like, you know, fast on his feet. So, you know, we would shoot stuff and then, you know, Mary and Betsy might do something different. So we'd have to kind of change our plan. And that's, to me, was kind of the fun of it, where it was like, we're going to capture real stuff and we're not going to get locked into like exactly what we think. We're going to be open to like finding new things and new angles. And so um, we had really full days, but we didn't, we didn't really go over our time. You know, we kind of stuck to our schedule. Yeah, we had to get Got to it. the dress. Yeah, we had to get to all the fun stuff after yeah. we wrapped. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, like summer funny. camp, like like a film, it, like a theater. It really school felt like film summer camp. camp. It was it great. Was and we did one like it actually talking about food. One of I, uh, our background, our dad is from Burma, and Ahmed did made fun like family supper one Sunday where everybody came over and Ahmed made Burmese cowsway for everybody, and that was like oh. that was a fun activity we did. It was so uh, fun. fun. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you okay. shot a film, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We also did that. We also did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we made a movie or whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. So, whatever. Let's keep the conversation about food going. Why not? So, Maureen, you, I, I want to hear about this thing about Sprinkles Cupcakes. You wrote and directed 10 shorts about their different flavors. Yeah. I mean, I, my, that's how my career started. I worked after film school, I got a job working behind the counter at Sprinkles, actually just selling cupcakes. And then, they saw my thesis film that I shot in Pakistan with with Ahmed. He came with me. I was the crew. He was the crew. And um, from there, they actually asked me to make a corporate film for them. And then I pitched making short films. And so they moved me over to corporate and I made short films. Mary's Mary's in one that she wrote um, with Marcy, which is so fun. It, that was for our Cinnamon Sugar. And I feel like Beth, I, like, think, I kept being like, <laughs> Betsy, we got to do one. And I feel like we, like there was one for so long. There was, was one. It was like you and Lauren Lapkus were going to be like, uh, like like cupcake burglars uh, that just never yes. came to fruition. But, um, yeah, so I did that. Like that's how I kind of they created a position in the company where I just got paid to be creative and make short films and do their their corporate films at the same time. The company was probably scared that it would encourage real theft. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Cupcake burglaries across the nation. Yeah, sprinkles doesn't yeah. condone. Yeah. you know you can, you Dealing can't just take them. cupcakes. No. Yeah, don't break well, into you know, the cupcake ATM. <laughs> Don't you break into that but, ATM? You know, McDonald's. Really? McDonald's had the hamburger hamburglar. So, oh, good point. It's been yeah. done before. We were yeah. the sprinkle burglar. <laughs> yeah. the sprinkler. Maureen, which location did you work at? I actually worked at location number one. Uh, I worked in the Beverly Hills location for two years, and then I moved over to corporate for like eight years. Wow. Yeah. So nice. you two kids can have a job at some kind of food establishment, uh, <laughs> make a thesis, and then go on to working corporate. Yeah, I just I just convinced them that they had to give me they had to they had to do it. And they 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 took they took the bait. <laughs> like, got him. Yeah, I got him. Yes, <laughs> got him. <laughs> well, actually, you know what's really, really cool is that um the owner of Sprinkles, one of the owners, Charles Nelson, is from Oklahoma City. So the whole time I worked at Sprinkles, they oh, kept cool. saying, you got to come to Oklahoma, you got to oh, come yeah. to Oklahoma. So when I went to Oklahoma City, I like got to meet, got to go and see his dad, like their parents, like home and like they showed me around. So it kind of felt full circle that I got to be in Oklahoma City because that's also where like Charles Nelson and Chuck Nelson, his dad is from and Linda. Oh, wow. How nice. Um, uh, another question was the crew local hire. Yeah, I mean, I would say the majority of our crew was from Oklahoma, which, again, and such, they a, were such an incredible. Wow. Yeah. Jack and Jenna were our costume designers. Oh. Tony and Alex were our hair and makeup. Um, Bijan was our set deck. You know, we had incredible. such incredible, incredible people that we found there. Yeah, they, everybody was so good. Like Eleven movies going on. Yeah, they had like so. Oh, yeah, many they were so busy. Together. Yeah, but our gaff, you know, like our, our gaffer, you know, from our um, key grip. Uh, Shay, you know, it was it was just like the, everybody there was so cool, and they were just there. A lot of a lot of really young people, so they everybody was really excited about just making something cool. And it was the hot um, weeks of the summer. Yeah. Oof. Now the scene that I'm seeing right now is are the three oh, of you actually? Oh yeah! All right. <laughs> who who dressed Ahmed 
<laughs> and was there any doubt that he would wear anything different? <laughs> That's what I showed up in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't even just keep that on, dude. <laughs> Is it goofy? Yeah, or? <laughs> I think actually my pitch to um, the wardrobe was that he should look like an AD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I sent pictures of our us, us Seth, our own AD, to be like, we should. We and should. we did dress similar. <laughs> yeah. We looked. We looked like brothers. <laughs> Yes. That's awesome. One of the things that this movie reminded me of Glow, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, just yes. uh, was that thought in your mind as far as costumes and relationships? I think one thing, you know, obviously there's always going to be the comparison because that is such a, a fun show with kick-ass women in costumes as well. So I think in my mind, I actually was trying to avoid being too similar because we just didn't want to you know, we didn't want to rip off that show because it is, it's so great. So I think there's definitely like a similarity, but trying to just move into maybe a little bit more like do it your own type of costumes um, that it was a little bit conscious. Cause again, that show is so great, but we didn't want to, we didn't want to, we didn't want anybody to feel like we were ripping them off. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sorry, Olivia couldn't join us tonight. Um, yeah. Her, oh. her character Ugh. is so awesome. Yes, so great. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that was one of the things. Her her costume is one of my favorites because I think it was scripted a little different. And then I had the idea that I really love, you know, Mad Max meets um, Grace Jones. And then Olivia loved that, and she brought even more to it. So, you know, we always thought like her character takes us the most serious, so she should have the most intense costume. Yes, <laughs> she's cool. so yeah. good. Yeah. In this. <laughs> So fully good. embodied that villain character. Like, she's just <laughs> totally. Incredible. Yeah. Even like the yeah. sounds of her walking is like so great. Like, yeah. she's really good yes. Yeah. And the way she, yes, the way she held herself. Carried she herself. Was. So good. And she was somebody who like sent a tape in and man, she blew, she blew me away with her tape. She sent in such a great, a great tape. And you're just like, wow, like we found our Brenda. So That's good. awesome. We're, we're looking at the scenes, I think, where you're trying to come up with your yeah. costume. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's talk about a lot of improvising in here. This was just like, Mary Betsy, have fun. <laughs> yeah, Maury was like, Mary, put some stuff on, and you two just go talk about it. <laughs> yeah, talk about it. Maureen, did you say that you, you had to have wardrobe bring a whole bunch of stuff, or was this stuff you collected personally or from <laughs> no, the cast? No. I mean, I wish. I wish that was my stuff. Um, yeah. It was like a lot of, um, it was like basically I told wardrobe and props, like I'd love to just put some stuff in there and see kind of what Mary and Betsy come up with. So some of, like there's even more stuff that you didn't even see. I think there was like a, a mummy. There's like, <laughs> there's like a big weird book. Like there's so many other things, but yes. they just, I mean, the only thing that was scripted was the was the bear costume. But other than that, it was like, let's just kind of put a bunch of <laughs> stuff the in there. Oh, oh, yeah, and the golden arm, yeah, yeah. bikini. Oh, Etsy, yeah, are you yeah. crazy fan of mummies too? <laughs> did, yeah, did you they're know cool, this? man. <laughs> That's, and you they are mummy. fascinating. <laughs> Not I put you on the spot. Do you like mummies? I'm a huge. I am. I do like mummies. I'm a big ancient <laughs> Egypt fan, dude. <laughs> I watch all of those National Geographic shows where they're like, "We found King Tut, and we know how he actually died." And then in the end, they're like, "Actually, we don't really. We don't know what's going on." <laughs> I, out, I had a reason for asking. I, I had a thought that uh, in my research that she loved mummies. And uh, yeah. Yeah. I did, yeah. I, I love mean, mummies. I'm a big mummy head. And I here's Eugene's scene. <laughs> yes. Oh, what a fun scene. Fun meet cute. Meet yeah. cute. And he was really excited that he was able to show his tattoo. Yeah, his tattoo is like so cool. So cool. And when he was like, oh, what do you think about that tattoo? I was like, uh, we got to get that in. Like, it's yes. So rad. It's so cool. This scene is so great. Yeah. <laughs> I remember watching y'all like off, uh, you know, just being like, oh, yeah, they're good. They're good. Yeah. They're good. Oh, oh, we just meeting each other. All cute. <laughs> So this is a question I'm, I think, Mary, I'd be curious to hear. Al wants to know what it's like to shape an improvised scene, even if there's no script. And I believe you were on an episode of Curb. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, 
That, well, in a very similar way, like with, with Curb, and I feel like we, we did a, a, the same thing here with Golden Arm, where we would understand what needed to be accomplished in the scene, understand like the basic outline of these are the, the, the points we need to hit, but how we get there can be any which way. You guys can totally like find your own way to all of those, those moments and those beats. So, um, so we would before each scene, you know, talk, have a have a conversation about what needed to happen in this scene, um, where both our characters were coming from, and then how we can uh, how we can hit all those points. But then Maureen trusted us so much to just play and be able to hit those points, but still make it our own, and that that was um, it was so much fun. It's, just a blast to get to improvise like that. Were there any times, and I'm curious between the, the three actors, were there any lines of dialogue that uh, the writers really wanted you to stick to as is? I don't remember any for me, but uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there were Jeff, I mean, to me, that's like, you know, part of my job is making sure that we have all the story points that we need. So, you know, that was definitely a discussion and making sure that there were things that we hit, so you don't you don't want to miss anything along the way. So that was definitely something that we would we'd all kind of powwow about, making sure after we were done with the scene that it was like, do we have everything that we need, and do we? And have I think also you'd always like get at least one like yeah. scripted, so you one scripted, you're gonna, yeah. You're not gonna be like, oh, we forgot to say this thing because you got it. My at least yeah, in one of the my process with improvising or how I how I really like to do it too is like you know. There's different ways you can do it. So one of the things that I really love is, like Mary said, finding that intention. And to me, it's easier to find the intention of the scene and then go back and make sure you have the dialogue. Instead of doing scripted first, you do scripted last. Because you found the intention, you found the meaning, and then it's easier to put scripted lines into that. So we definitely, we, we kind of did it a little flip-flop. We did improvise and discovering, and then we did scripted stuff at the end. And that also what that does also with the scripted lines is it infuses this like spontaneity in it yeah. because you've already been playing. So there's a looseness to it that makes it feel really organic yeah. is what I think. <laughs> I agree. No, no. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew you did. <laughs> Uh, Anne Marie and Jenna wrote uh, a wonderful script. So, were they on set at all, or did they kind of pass this on to you, uh, and then they were done? Yeah, I mean, they, kind of everybody took a little bit of turns. I think Anne Marie was there. We we shot for four weeks. I think Anne Marie was there for three. Jenna came for a week. Uh, our other executive producers, like uh, uh, Jane Fleming, was there for two weeks. So we kind of have like had a little bit of like a rotating village, which was kind of lovely because everybody kind of got to see Russell Groves was there for a week as well. So everybody kind of got to like tag in and tag out and kind of see. Kind of see. Why Amory's parents were there too. Oh yeah, Amory's parents, too. Gita, our producer's <laughs> parents were there. So yeah, it was a family affair, um, and everybody kind of got to kind of got to see the magic happening. Very cool, <laughs> Mary. <laughs> I'm oh, messing your arm. No. Mary, just Mary Steph totally here, silent. like funny, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's my dad in the back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cast is like the wrestlers were so good. Oh, I mean, again, the casting in Oklahoma, not only were the locations great, but one of the important things for me, and that's something I talk about with Chris a lot, is just like real people, real faces. And I think that that was so important that the that the world was colored with like real human beings that are beautiful and different looking and you kind of never get to see them on screen. So the, the, the crew, the cast was so great in Oklahoma. Who was so your, uh, who did your casting? Uh, Amy Renee did our casting here in LA and then casting in Oklahoma. Ooh, you just put me on the spot. <laughs> I'll have to look at my um my records. All right, <laughs> sorry. Two great records. Will <laughs> <Well, laughs> Rogers. <laughs> yes. But they were great. Michelle, I think, was her name uh, was one of them. But like, yeah, they they worked so hard and they found really incredible people. So I'm so grateful that we got to. Got everybody to work with them. Yeah, was, yeah, it was, a, it was like, a phenomenal cast. It felt like everybody back. Everybody was so excited to be there. The yeah. energy was just wild every single day on set. Of like, okay, we're we're doing this. Yeah, 
And it yeah, was really warm. Cool. All those tournaments. Yeah, they had their own little so backstories, warm. it seemed like, too. Yeah. Like, some of the, if you, I mean, so one of my favorite things to do is when you rewatch movies is literally just to watch the background people mm -hmm. because it's like you, you, like, there's one guy in one shot with Ahmed and Betsy that was like, oh, everything he was doing was like amazing. But I didn't notice <laughs> until like the fourth time I watched the footage. <laughs> every choice, you're just like, yeah, or every shot, there's a new, it, it, yeah. yeah, everybody was so great. Another just to like watch the background actors on is 27 dresses it's some insane background acting oh well. yeah i watched that movie recently the background yes. people in that are like there's something going on you're like what is the story back here <laughs> that's fun <laughs> i like big it background is fun noises. to watch background um because and then it's even crazier to be on a set with background because some of them are the greatest sweetest people stay out of the way <laughs> and then some of them are so different and you're like, is they let you out to do this for <laughs> eight hours. I, I agree, but I so I have the, I have a, my own background acting story from when I was in high school. And so I have a little bit of a, I, when I was in when I was in high school, my friend Melissa loved Eve Six. So I grew up in Santa Barbara. And they were like, Eve Six is doing a music video and Funny. they like, come and be in the background of this music video. So Melissa was like, let's drive down to L.A. We went down to LA and we were the most annoying background people because we got, we tried to get into every single shot. We were like, moved our way up to the front. We were like dancing in the background. Good. And we're like, we totally made the music video. They've got to find us somewhere. And then when it aired on MTV, I feel like you could see our silhouettes like on a truck in one shot. And I'm like, now I know <laughs> the director was like, I'm not putting those two girls in this music video. How annoying were they? <laughs> no matter one what, even like if that. we have to sacrifice the music, <laughs> We, we have to around <laughs> these two girls. We don't care what it takes. I think with like the extras have, too, Maureen wasn't allowed to speak to them, which I think is like just a rule. Yeah, I but it was funny to see like the telephone, like it's like, oh, you want this person to go here, but you can't tell them, even though you're right here. So you have to go oh. tell this other person. Be like, can you tell them to step over there? <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't wow. know that. Oh, you need rules. Whoa. If they didn't have a line, if they didn't have a line, I couldn't speak to them. Yeah. Whoa. Betsy or Mary That's or Ahmed, have you ever done mind. background before? Yes. Um, I think probably when I was in theater a lot, I was always just like not cast, just in, always in the background. <laughs> like, yeah, you'll just be <laughs> the guy in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I did do. I did do some background. And um, yes, I remember actually. I I went up to one of the eighties because I was I was in the deep background. I was <laughs> way 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 far away. From <laughs> and I remember at one point going up to one of the eighties and being like, "Can I watch the actors? <laughs> Can I watch them?" And they're like, um, let me check. And then I never heard back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It is awesome. I actually, oh, I, I did go to an episode of the reboot of American Gladiators oh, and got paid man. like, you know, a little bit. But like, I went with my friend Tony and we had a blast because they were truly like, just scream a bunch. We're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I could do that all day. And I did. And it was great. <laughs> I did. If there was a series about background actors, and I know we've had this before, Betsy, I would so be on that so fast. There was a show. It was Extras. called Extras, which is one of my favorite yeah. shows. It was great. It's a great show. Great show. Let's bring it back. Woo! Well, everything's everything's coming back, so we'll bring that Let's back. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll do bring it. back the Marx Brothers. Oh, What's the question? Trauma. Yeah, Trauma's wild, man. <laughs> I've never seen Trauma. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know. They do, like, it's a whole, like, crazy, wild, like, B horror movie uh, world. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Right. Oh, <laughs> oh, here's Ron. Oh, this my scene. God. This yeah. scene. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I don't think I've laughed. I mean, I peed yeah. my pants on this. It is so don't funny. Yeah, there's more footage that I, it'll pop up somewhere. Uh, I don't think we can say where it will be popping up yet, but it's gonna. you're going to be able to see it at some point. <laughs> yeah. We, well, that, that's we, a question we, we always ask. Are there plans to release this on, like, Blu-ray, DVD, VHS, cassette maybe. tape, anything like that? Maybe. Cassette tape. 
Because <laughs> that tape. Laser disc. There's going to be a special. <laughs> yeah, I hope. Oh, I would love for there to be a laser disc. Yeah. Cassette tapes are coming back. So that means all mixed tapes are coming back. <laughs> like the magic, like the red, the red, yeah. the red glasses just where you like just flipped it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were those? We had so many of those. <laughs> yeah, this scene was so fun. I mean, again, Wendy, your production designer, you know, this hotel was did not look anything like this. And so it, it was such a, I feel like they had a lot of fun. And then Katie Kimmel, actually designed these t-shirts and it just happened to be that we had them in these t-shirts in this room. So the color scheme kind of, again, oh, was kind yeah. of it was not really planned. Yeah. That way. It, it looks very intentional. It's great. Yeah. But those are, yeah. Hot sandwich and linguine and clam are Katie. Kim. <laughs> yeah. Just this whole scene watching it. Oh, there was so much funny stuff. going Yeah. On. There, there's some scripted stuff, but here, here's a place where we were like, Let's make this really feel like what it's what it feels like to be in a hotel room with your best friend before you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. But there's it, uh, so much <laughs> of Betsy doing the funniest things. I wonder if she fun. reaches for me and falls into the ground yeah. between the two beds. <laughs> I mean the physical comedy yeah. of Betsy. Like, oh, <laughs> one bed. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was yeah. one bed. When she had just walked. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you think that. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> and then we did like the, we did like take for like Mary set up like she was possessed. Like again, there's like yeah, really when it it was it was horrifying. <laughs> you totally like Dracula up, and it was so scary. It was Maureen was just kind of like okay, go like just go wild, yeah. What do best this, friends do? The end of it is also improvised. The twister, which is also a weird nod that they shot Twister in Oklahoma. See, yes. we yeah, were tying it all together. We didn't even know. See, Helen but Hunt, tell us your favorite that. places to eat. Yeah, Helen Hunt, come on, Helen, <laughs> Helen, and then that machine that releases a lot of those little balls. Tell Dorothy us, too. Dorothy, <laughs> Dorothy too. Dorothy too. Tell us where's your favorite place to eat in Oklahoma City. Dorothy's flying. She's flying. <laughs> She's flying. <laughs> She's actually in this movie in the background. <laughs> you look yeah, bad. yeah. Just, I just think of that Ahmed and Ahmed and Don Luby. I feel like if you are in a rewatch, oh, they're yeah. again. I feel like there's a side story where they're doing that. They have their own story, own love story that's happening <laughs> in this movie in the background. So I feel like for the for the big fans, you rewatch and you just look for. Don and Ahmed's uh, background work of their love <laughs> <Yeah>. romance. <laughs> it's so fun. We're the spinoff. Yeah. Yes. Where Where yeah. are we at time wise? My my uh, screen blacked out, so I want to make sure oh. I'm where you're at. We are at like 55 minutes into the movie. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. There we go. Or Brenda. Somehow I. Brenda's making her. Brenda's smelling. Sniffing. <laughs> yeah. Smell. Sniffing me. <laughs> which was great. <laughs> and again, what's so cool about, I mean, unfortunately, this place has closed. It's called the Copa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Mary, that was your pitch, dude. Pandemic. Yeah. That was my pitch. Yeah. But it, it was this cool place that had all these, like, nooks and crannies. And it was awesome. It was, like, this gay resort with a nightclub, like, three nightclubs. Oh, that place was phenomenal. Like we partied it hard. It was so there. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple dance stages. But I think it's closed during the, I think it closed because of the pandemic, which I'm so bummed out about. It was such a cool place. I'm so glad we got to shoot there. It was so great. I am too. It was awesome. Oh, me too. Because it was it's also perfect. open while we were shooting there. And yeah. so like oh, we'd yeah, be on great. like lunch and see like it, yeah, and see like we, a bunch of like bear dudes hanging out. I was like, this is and this like is fantastic. club music like happening in between <laughs> scenes. It was great. It was so yeah. awesome. Now here comes one of my favorite. Um, yeah. uh, what did you, you ask? Yes. <laughs> what? Were great you just oh, with on that? <laughs> Just, just the shot yeah. of you hitting the floor is a fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this was another bar within the bar. Like it was so. 
Yeah, they were like, they were like, because we didn't even use the uh, country western bar oh, in was, yeah, the Copa. That's where we had lunch. Lunchtime. Yeah, there was so that it was such a great place to shoot. Yeah, but we had to be out by a certain time because that's when the dance floor opened. Yes, <laughs> yeah, right. you had to be out. Floor Got to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so many cool locations in this one location. We really lucked out with like where yeah. we had it. Truly. And uh, there, this is like, the I forget, there's another place, this is a dome where we're like, oh, we almost wanted to shoot in there because it was like a golden dome, but then. Wasn't it, it was, like a bank or something? Yeah, it was like a bank. <laughs> oh, it was? Yeah. 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 It was a movie theater. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a bank. Yeah, I think it was just like a bank or something and something not fun. Oh, this is where that new Mexican place was. Yeah. was oh, the, yeah. What was the name of that Mexican place? Something with a T. <laughs> oh, Betsy thought it was an S. <laughs> There's probably the <laughs> I'm positive it was an A. No, I don't think it was, the Haunted Hotel was an S. Oh, yeah. Was it was the fancy one downtown. Hotel. I lived Shoot. there for a while. The Roosevelt? Or something? No, the that's in L.A. <laughs> The Cleveland, the, the Cleveland a, Hotel in Oklahoma. It had a, a pool in the basement that I'd go swimming every morning before. We Dude, that's spooky. That's old timey and haunted for sure. What? A pool in a basement <laughs> is disgusting. I don't trust that one bit. Were there windows? Probably no. not. That's okay. it. Gross. Haunted, haunted as shit. Haunted, haunted as shit. Haunted. So many kids drowned there, and now they haunt that. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking up the hotel right now. Yes, it was. It's like the oldest one there. Ugh. Oh, uh, Betsy, I remember at one point we asked your little ghost. Skirvin. The Skirvin. Oh, you're right. Oh, the Skirvin. Yes. Oh, we asked yeah. The ghost detector, and it said, it said. Um, your name, didn't it? At one point, when we were oh, it said it? Elizabeth. It said Elizabeth, which oh. is even ho more horrifying than Betsy, because it's like, how did you? How did you know? <laughs> did I you never, know? I never been called by Elizabeth ever. Uh, you sick fuck. <laughs> 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 Very scary. This okay. ghost app is no joke. <laughs> I'll tell ya, it, you. It, it'll say some wild stuff. You would bring it out in that hotel room where we filmed that, <laughs> that scene. She, she, I have a video of Betsy walking into a corner of the room, turning her app on and seeing if she could contact Something anybody. was up, dude. Very, <laughs> Mary, it's this one. <laughs> Ghost detector oh, app. Yeah, it's yeah, free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's accurate. Free. I don't think it just yeah, listens yeah. to you and then says words that you've said. I don't think this. No, now this is a great, a great scene. It's a great scene. Is no, that this magic is Mary's or, fantasy. <laughs> and then Maureen's yelling from the sidelines that you can't hear. Which is a part of my fantasy. <laughs> yes. Maureen yelling at me. It's part of it. Big Maureen didn't have like an old style like bullhorn like the hey over there. I wish <laughs> I should have yell. Yeah, we should have gotten you one. Of those. That would have been awesome. That would have been a good and yeah. a whip. <laughs> and a whip, of course. Oh yes, classic <laughs> Hollywood. Classic. Yeah. I'm saying bring it back. Bring back all the you know all the horrible things. <laughs> yes, that's how the best movies got made, man. <laughs> oh, the best art comes. Oh from my you. gosh. I so. look at comments. Somebody <laughs> says that downloading the ghost detector app invites the evil spirits into your phone. And uh, you know, uh, no, you well, are. No, because they ghost. are a ghost. You're not a ghost. <laughs> no. Don't no. do this to me. Don't you dare. Uh -uh. I will not Betsy, open you in my house. Review, have you reviewed this app on your podcast yet? I've talked about it a, a handful of times. I've, I've, I've pitched it. <laughs> Don't. I just said my name was Elizabeth, and you're not scaring me. Uh, <laughs> comments. Nice try. That's also, nice it's kind of technically no longer Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Mel's baking. I'm baking. Here I am. Um, this was great. All of these were freshly baked, not by me. Oh. Freshly baked. Every, every single 
bit of pastry that Mel serves it has actually been freshly baked by our by Cassie. Our no. Cassie. Yes. Was amazing. And yeah, it was they like, were crap. so good. They were so good. These biscuits yeah. were unreal. Biscuits and the scones. Remember? The, I had yeah, the, yeah, scones the scones and they amazing. blew me. Like where I was, I was like, I'm going to like good. take a couple of these. If that's <laughs> cool. Yeah, like, I did. Back. I brought it back home. <laughs> yeah, they were so good. It and the, so what's really good. cool about this scene too is that this, uh, yeah, when we got in here, Chris was like, we were we were loving this kind of like light that was moving. It was just from traffic, so again, it was kind of like a happy accident that yeah, it that, really gave kind so of cool like looking. movement to the scene. It looks so rad. Mm -hmm. It does. And we found this. Location. Oh, now that you said it, now I noticed it. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Again, it's like those little imperfections. I feel like that make, to me, that make things make feel, it feel real. Yeah. And it is such a great, I mean, Mary, Mary and Eugene are so great in this scene. Oh, yeah. It's so much fun. Yes. And there is I, Eugene's Corona poster. Yeah, he's a big <laughs> Corona light drinker. Eugene and I had that in college, dude. That was awesome. I had that exact thing in college. <laughs> <laughs> With a fucking like John Belushi college. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had that. I was like, good night, oh, my king. <laughs> Also, just a little known fact. So the song that's playing on here, this MIA song. Oh, I love it. To be in the movie, but it was kind of like my pump up song. I was like, oh, we really want this movie, this song in the movie. And I don't think she gives permission very often for songs and movies. That so was amazing that she did. How cool. Very lucky. That so we got cool. That's awesome. MIA Has she is seen it? so rad. <laughs> She's in the background. Has she seen the movie? <laughs> Everybody's in the background. <laughs> But that being said, too, I mean, we haven't like the, the score itself, by the way, um, our incredible composer, Hannah Parrott, like she just, it, she's so incredible. I worked with her on one of my shorts and she really nailed this movie. Like, I feel like all the emotions, so good. you know, she added such a great layer. Yes. So good. <laughs> Talk about the names so of good. the wrestlers. They, uh, like uh, Andrea the Giant or Andrea <laughs> the Giant. Yeah, I feel like that was like Ahmed and Ron. I feel like uh, punched up those names because I I don't know a lot of our I don't know was a lot of wrestlers. Wasn't the they were kind of like a nod, you know, like uh, oh yeah, Andre the Killer Giant, Katie. Andre the Giant, and like oh. so they Beat were down, say. yeah. Some of them were scripted, Killer but Katie. some of them were like uh, kind of nods to other wrestlers. See this background guy? Oh my god! Oh, that oh yeah, he's, he's like sobbing. <laughs> 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 we had so much money riding on that You shotgun Betsy and Mary. Shotgun and beers. <laughs> oh, too many, man. Man. I think so. It was, yeah, it was sparkling, sparkling water. water. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen those TikTok videos of people trying to chug uh, Coke or something and not burp? <laughs> no. Ew. It is so funny. It's Ew. Just, they like they chug it and they're like. I'm gonna I'll watch him. I'll text you some. Thank you, thank you, thank Don, you. Don Luby, this is one of my favorite moments. Ah, oh, yes. she was cracking. Don, so like funny. every bone in her, like any, everything she did was just so so funny. funny. So funny. <laughs> just, and she, she basically this this outfit too. Like the the character was written differently, but she she auditioned with with the backwards hat and like wrist guards and i was like we're changing like, the costume guard. is whatever don it like this this look that don has auditioned like, oh, it's there. so funny wrist guards is such a funny choice <laughs> <laughs> oh so great talk There's about this other actress here what a great great scene yeah don so fun. she had so many little improvs that were just like each take you're like oh that was so good and she was the perfect, like, um, there was such a sadness to yeah. her. Yes. Like, this, it made her, even though she was playing kind of a, a, a villainous character, you, you felt so, like, bad for her and connected to her. And at the same, like, you were cheering for her, even though you knew yes. she was, like. <laughs> I feel like her and Brenda's energy, I felt like, was just, like, the classic, like, yeah. Classic. Common villain duo. You yeah. Know? yeah. I think like also, like, you know, the backstory of her, we kept saying that's like, oh, she really dreams of joining the other friend group. <laughs> like, you know, she sees that friend group yeah. and she's like, I want to be in that group, but yeah. I'm stuck with Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ugh. Ooh, the strap. This strap. is a real yeah. thing. Yeah. Which blows my mind that that's even a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, Ew, nasty. Yeah, yeah, that that's real. Up. That's all real. Yeah, that's really real. Really nice. dead it's in the nice. Mary's hand. Yeah. Mary's method. Yeah. She was okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I asked them to put a little knife in um in the buckle so that it would really, <laughs> really yeah. slice you up. Yeah, yeah. I love Ow. it. That was the thirtieth take. <laughs> yeah, that was the thirtieth take. I want <laughs> yeah. more. You know. Yeah, they kept I wanted to you more. Them. Betsy, I, I also just I passed oh, out. This is one of my favorite moments. Is Betsy just like, I want to beat you. Like, I just like love. How angry you <laughs> <laughs> I am mad. I was mad. In real life. <laughs> Olivia is so funny, Justin. And I love you. I mean, again, the the don't want to use that word bitch. That was also Eugene's um, yeah. improvised line. And it was just so great. I, I love the way he says it. Yeah. The way she <laughs> grabs him, too. It's so, so yeah. funny. <laughs> 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 and again what's great about this scene is that we kind of tried to play it where you know she kisses him but it's not like you know melanie's character is not mad at him she gets it so it, again just kind of changing that a little bit and i think that makes it so great because it's it's not really about that it's like i'm dealing with yeah. that stuff, dude <laughs> yeah yeah the whole thing um I, that happening just because she was on a winning streak and i feel like you know that's easy to feel Right. Like keep trying when you're winning, yeah. but what about right. when you lose? <laughs> you have That's to keep trying. Exactly. We have a question. So we, you, yeah. <clears throat> you know, I mean, one thing that was kind of a bummer is I didn't get to go to any in-person matches. They just didn't line up, but I watched a ton online. Um, I talked to a lot of the local arm wrestlers here in Los Angeles out of the Los, like the ladies arm wrestling league which are some really cool women. Um, again, Amory and Dot. And then, um, yeah, just kind of watching a lot of stuff, watch, watching a lot of videos online. Did yes, we lose Betsy or is that very... just my screen? Oh, I think we lost Betsy. No, I can see her. Thinking. <laughs> she didn't like that question. <laughs> she was, oh. she was she very upset about that question. She's like, I got to go. <laughs> I forgot to Thank you. There wow. is so much footage on, on YouTube of like professional arm wrestling. Like, and it's fascinating to watch that in addition to the, to the you know, um, fundraising, like more like fun celebratory tournament style arm wrestling matches there's there's a lot of out there to watch but the like, professional ones and i think it's true in like Anne Marie's group as well it's like yeah. we obviously drew these matches out for you know drama but they go so fast it's really yeah. like so quick the one thing i did watch online that like i couldn't watch many of and i felt like i had to just for the movie but i definitely watched there's some compilations of arm wrestling arm breaks that like Ooh. I only could watch like I think I watched two and I was like okay I got it <laughs> like, oh that's enough research yeah I couldn't handle that now there's there's obviously that movie about arm wrestling from the the eighties over the top uh, over the top over the top did you watch any other movies from that era for feel and look yeah I mean I didn't actually watch any movies from that era but. I definitely, you know, took inspiration from some of my favorite movies like Fight Club and Slapshot and Wayne's World and Tommy Boy and, um, you know, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. There are moments where we're like, this is like in Pee Wee. So there are definitely, <laughs> you know, over the top, definitely like the truck driving scenes I watched to see how they shot those. And I'm just a big fan of movies. So I kind of sprinkle in moments here and there from all kinds of movies that I love. Awesome. <gasps> Jeff Bulbum can wrestle. Is this our true, party. Jeff? Yeah. I mean, we should start a we should start an online yeah. campaign to get Mary and Betsy to arm wrestle Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be down for that. Or yeah. it's like celebrity arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah. I I think I'm in. It's oh, a good idea. <laughs> All right. It's a very good idea. Okay. She's back. Woo! Betsy's back. Woo! You know that was one of those ghosts, Betsy or Elizabeth. <laughs> Oh, you no. over your phone. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! <laughs> uh, we also we just missed the um, internet, man. 
Best, <laughs> Dude, we just lines, missed our favorite scene. My favorite lines. Oh my god. Or one of, one our, of my favorite I, lines is Betsy saying at the end of that scene <laughs> when we're arguing about whether or not my tail is a dick. <laughs> and Betsy at the end of that scene saying, Dick tails, woo. That was that was a fun one to shoot for sure. So that fun. was such a blast to shoot. <laughs> Dick Dales, woo! <-hoo. laughs> Another question: Has Maureen considered diving into Russian slap challenges for the sequel? I mean, I jokingly said that we should go to Russia, but maybe the slap challenge is good. I have seen some of those videos online, and it's crazy. It's like basically people just slapping each other as hard as they can until they pass out. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. What? Oh. Yeah. I don't know where I. What? <laughs> So this is not Russian like slap bracelets from the '90s, then, <laughs> which would be in a different, entirely different kind of movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's slap challenge that way. <laughs> we have joked. It's like either yes. the, this is a this is a middle of a trilogy. So the prequel is them in college, and the sequel is them going to like Russia or something. That's <laughs> it. That's right. Right. And the right. spinoff is Don and Don. <laughs> yeah, Don. So we have a whole, <laughs> yes. whole universe. It's our, our Marvel universe. So we may see Goth Betsy return. Oh, I hope in a so. prequel, there perhaps. Was so oh. much funny I stuff. I mean, that. I feel like Betsy. Yeah, just college years, <laughs> like Saved by the Bell. The college years. It's just <laughs> golden from the college years. <laughs> I feel Goth was just a little chunk of the college years. Yeah, you know, there's probably like trying to be into like jam bands, Betsy, Scott, Scott, or, or, or uh, Danny, Scott, like. Betsy. Scott, you were looking Scott. at Operation Ivy super hardcore before they. <laughs> I mean, that's not too far off. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, actually, I was. That's why I referenced it. I feel like, yeah, I was, like yeah. there was skater, there was like a surfier. Oh, like, yeah, skater, yeah. skater, skater Danny yeah. Yeah. breaks her tailbone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I really tried to be a skater. Yeah. <laughs> did you, fun. how far did you get into being a skater? I wore the outfit. <laughs> I wore the outfit, and then I I went to a skate park, but I was too scared to go on my skateboard, so I put on rollerblades and I went down a half pipe and I fell <laughs> right away. <laughs> I, I went down and immediately hit my head. It was great, <laughs> oh. and I've been fine ever since. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mary, you're eating a light bulb. <laughs> I know. I know. I uh, I yeah. No, those are glasses. Uh -huh. Don't eat those. Come on. Come on. <laughs> the big reveal. The wrist was fine all oh my along. God. The whole time. The big reveal. Huge yeah. reveal. Like makeup in the scene too. Like. Yeah, it looks real. They did yeah. such a good job. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, really good. I also like that she's at this like I mean in reality it's like that nurse didn't really do a good job of cleaning up your wounds. Yeah. 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 I never it cleaned it off. at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not you're at good. all. It's just kind of like you're fine, sit here. Okay. Here's some Tylenol. Here's some Tylenol. Just sit on the <laughs> yeah. floor until you feel better. <laughs> Um, uh, oh, I was curious about this I'm Poo t-shirt. You don't ever really get to see the full shirt. What? What's the story, if there is one, for this shirt that Betsy's wearing? I think it I'm says, like, I'm, I'm P.O.'d or something. I'm Poe but po. proud. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm Poe. I'm Poe but proud. It's like a, like a truly vintage rad shirt. Yeah. Well, that was one of the things that we kind of talked about, you know, Betsy's influence, too, is that, you know, Danny's a truck driver, so her wardrobe should consist of like vintage tees from all the places that she's gone. So, you know, Jack and Jenna found some really cool vintage shirts yeah. and one that we loved. And we're like, I think they even were like, we only have one of it. So if it gets blood on it. And I was like, we just love it so much. It's like, let's use it. So there was a little bit of a risk because if something happened to it, we would be screwed continuity wise, but we just thought it was such a Nothing cool did. We did it. Mm -hmm. No blood on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no blood. No blood. Oh, yes. here's Anne Marie. There's Anne Marie's big mom. Mary head. Dad. Oh, With yeah. Mary head. <laughs> Look at that big Mary head. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> yeah, those heads. I was like, we got to have those heads. I feel like they're you so know, they're making, great. They were so popular that I was like, they would definitely have them at this. Like, 
this there was tournament. a lot of like moving the crowd around in this scene, right? To try oh, to yeah, oh we, yeah, we, yeah. We originally had we thought we were gonna get double the amount of extras, and then some people didn't show up, and so we kind of had to like puzzle piece it a little bit. Yeah. Here's like here's my one of my favorite shots of the movie is just Mary coming back into the arena. We got our so our good. Shot. Yeah. Cool shot. Our steady cam guy just nailed it. So cool. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, we did it. Like we did it. <laughs> Again, it's all the background. Number. Like they were, I feel like they really felt like they were at this tournament because this is the last thing we shot. I know so. they were so pumped. It was, it was so exciting. I love that Everybody. it worked out that this was the last thing we were shooting. Like yeah. that, that worked yeah. out so well. It really. Did. Wait, it was. It was. I mean, yeah. oh, was oh, in this location, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. remember Not that. <laughs> Not at all. The shot was like. Leaving. Oh, the last thing you shot was the last. Is the last shot the of the movie. Was behind. Oh. I'm kind of directed that scene. Yeah, oh, it really yeah. was. It really was. Yeah. yeah. It was like our last shot of the movie is our last thing we shot. Oh. Oh, Mary! Yeah. With the win. <laughs> Again, what's so great about the space? I love that. Are you scared lines? Oh. oh. So oh, funny. Was, uh, uh, my response was Ahmed's uh, pitch, pitch, Ahmed's pitch line. I was like, that was what's so funny about the movie is that everybody was <laughs> pitching on lines and punching up jokes. And again, for me, it was just, it's so easy to say yes when everybody has such great ideas. Yeah, it was yeah. cool to be allowed to, you know, that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> right. So hey, man, Maureen, so between Maureen and Ahmed, who's the uh, who's older? Who's the older brother or older sister? I'm the older one. The director, obviously. <laughs> she was born. Got it. I mean, I'm, th I'm three years and so, old. Say. And so did you, are you the one that used to make uh, movies with your brother when you were kids? Yeah, we definitely like, I'm uh, you know, I'm the oldest of three and then we have a ton of cousins. So I was always organizing everybody to, either do like, you know, recreate Mary Poppins like on the rooftop or we used to do Pete's Dragon a lot or make oh. movies. Or, or I like would yes. over and be like, can you please film us? And I'd be like, fine. So I would do like, I would share stuff. Oh, um, good. We movies and doing like, doing create, putting on Christmas programs and, and, and like then stop I- Stop motion. Yeah, stop so. motion. And like I went, I did, I did acting all through high school and college, and so Ahmed did that too. But then I kind of went the directing route when I was like, I want to do movies. Yeah. And then Ahmed's a. You got to post your pictures on your IG account, Maureen. Like all your acting theater, those are the best kind of pictures. I I, I actually recently just post. I found some old ones of like us in the living room, and I was playing like chair drums, and Ahmed's playing like a tennis guitar. And it's like, oh, I'm, that still, I'm still can play that. <laughs> yeah. So we have a lot of fun ones like that that I got to post. Oh, yeah. really? You have a right to Oh, shit. Cool, man. <laughs> send me, send Mary, me your, your stuff, Instagram dude. account Tennis. has a lot of great old pictures on there. Oh, this God. is my favorite scene, by the way. Yeah. Like, this scene is just, I think, encapsulates yes, what thank this you. Is. Yeah, this is the best. I love, I love this scene so much. And just the two I think of them. This was like one of the first. When I came on set, this was one of the first days, and I remember thinking, like, this was the magic. This is, like, we captured it. Oh. Uh, uh, it was uh, really fun. So it was wild. Just the gagging and laugh. Oh, I mean, yeah, the way like you guys look at each other like, in this scene. Oh, no. <laughs> just like the, the heightened. Oh. <laughs> that seems oh. just... <laughs> It's it's the ghost, but I had also gotten this at the very same time. <laughs> I think this is the ghost that knocked off Betsy. <laughs> that ghost is out to get her. <laughs> this is out to get her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this scene. Again, this is to me like Mary and Betsy just amazing. And then it also just to me like just nods a little bit to Lucy and Ethel, like mm. that kind of like just great comedy duo together. How many pages was this in the script and how much, uh, you know, was it a lot, a little, so were a lot of it improvised? Actually, this is one of the only scenes that we had, uh, you know, I did a, we ha was a scripted different. I did a pass and then 
when Mary and Betsy came on, they also kind of gave their input and we workshopped this scene in particular before the final script was done. So it's one of the only scenes that we really kind of all mushed, you know, got all our thoughts in there and like workshopped it before we even got to, to shoot anything. So um, it's definitely a group effort. And it was really, again, finding that real intention of like, what is the scene about? What is this really? And again, I think that's why it's so, one of my favorites to me is that it really does encapsulate the movie. And that's, that was, it went through a, a few iterations until what you see on screen. Yeah. Oh, oh golden arm. Oh, there man, she is. Outfit. I feel like I can't wait for like uh just the cosplay of this movie. I feel like I want to oh, Halloween, Halloween. I was like, I want to be Mary as Golden. Oh Arm. my god. Yes. <laughs> Mary. Oh, uh, left handed. Left armed. No problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. I just had to wrap no my problem. leg around the boat there and then just, you know. Just yes. I use my back for leverage. Oh, yeah. That's all you got to do, you know. All you got to do. Crunch, no, Olivia, crunch. I mean, Olivia finally gets to use her bone hand. Yeah. Yes. Oh, really. Finally gets to use her bone hand. <laughs> her bone <laughs> hand. <laughs> bone hand. Uh, Mary, you are so badass in this scene. Oh. Mary! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh -oh, such a great uh oh i am golden arm <laughs> again my, my sister her first she's the first voice that says golden arm in the crowd she did a little really little, oh that's little, so cool yeah. <laughs> yeah. and i wow. love that Don is like also chanting from the yeah. background yeah, yeah i love that so much <laughs> oh again here's like <laughs> yeah. a score kicks in too and it's just to me I, it I just mean, takes you away it's the best feeling in the if you could arrange for people to just explode confetti on you, <laughs> yeah. to make it happen from the ceilings. It's the best thing in the world, right? <laughs> to dash, oh, yeah, <laughs> she yeah, has, that's everywhere that's she goes, another... she has some people with some confetti cannons right behind her. <laughs> yeah. That's why Ron Funches needs to invite all of us to his show. They probably oh. have those exact things there, you missed right. Them. Oh my God, I can't show. wait to see that show. Uh, I want to so go, funny. like, I want to break on set and go to the slide on. Slip and yeah. slide, the ultimate slip and slide. The ultimate. Oh. Again, this moment, I feel like I just, everyone's joy in their face is real. Like, Betsy, the way you're like, you're so happy. Yeah. And I don't know, like, every, again, with the music. It's just like, and then Ahmed and Dawn in the back eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Um, you got to keep that shirt, right? Yeah, I have it in my closet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So this is the actual last thing we shot. Uh, where yeah, I this is the last. Shot cameo. So Ahmed sat behind monitor and kind of directed us. Yeah, I changed a lot of what was happening. <laughs> Change the whole movie. There's more. Uh -oh. We're, We're having fun. We're having fun. Oh. Aww. Yay. What a great movie. It was just so much fun to make. Yeah, it what was It was time. a dream come true. It was so much fun. We had such a blast. It really was. <laughs> was really your was. editor uh, working on this while you were still shooting? Yeah, Grant came out to Oklahoma, which was so great. Um, he was troubleshooting. He got to be on set a couple times, which was so great. And he kind of just got to feel the vibe. So I'm so grateful that he was in Oklahoma with us. Yeah. Yeah. He's so he's great. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's oh. so good. But Aparna, he came out for another heavy hitter, came out for a day. Kate Flannery, mm -hmm. heavy hitter, came out for a day. Like, He's so grateful to have all these just incredible people that <laughs> made the trip to Oklahoma for like one hot day. <laughs> one very actually hot day. <laughs> oh, what an incredibly warm day. <laughs> dot, John, uh, dot, dot, Woo! you know, have just had shoulder surgery and was like shooting in the heat of Oklahoma. So everybody came out and just- wrestle her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really Yeah, that place was cool. Yeah, and it was, oh yeah, we got the, the outside area of Oklahoma. I forget what that was called, but they had a lot of good places to eat over there too. 
That whole yeah. river walk place. Yeah, the really river. Cool. Walk. Yeah. That jacket. She has. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Down in her <laughs> skateboard. <laughs> Funny yeah. choice. And again, Funny this is when everybody nice. improvised their own stuff. Like I was like, just improvise Some in your great prop. Yeah. Ahmed's real life fanny, but I feel like Matt's is like one of my favorite. I mean, his yeah. improvised. I think he's up next. Uh, it was just like so fun to let everybody kind of have just be fun, have some fun with their character or what they thought their backstory was. Yeah. Yeah, Lauren. She's weird. I love Lauren's. Canadian <laughs> 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 is so great. Oh, yeah. Matt's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Almost any pair is so Almost. funny. Almost. 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 Almost any pair of glasses. Yeah. <laughs> it's like those Oakleys. we got to have them. That was like my one thing for Steve. It's like he's got to have Oakleys. <laughs> Oakleys, <laughs> dude. I wanted Oakleys so bad. <laughs> those like, the like, yeah, you know the like those ones. Yeah, those are so so huge in like middle school. And I feel yeah, like yeah, they were yeah, like yeah. volleyball players that were really cool. Wore them, so then they would have the tan lines. Right? Oh right, right. yes, like a little tan. So cool. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Woo. Hey. Very nice. All right, I gotta throw that. Sorry, I gotta throw this in one more time because how in. often is mom nice. gonna oh, a great come in and supporting? Oh, she she's the best at embarrassing her child. <laughs> I mean, she's a great parent. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a great parent. So um, let's talk about some projects you're working on, Mary. I think you just did a show recently called Super Go and Wild Horses. So are oh, you yeah. doing more are, in person or are they still virtual shows? They're still virtual, but but I I feel like I really hope that we get to start doing in-person shows in the next few months. But um, but yes, the Dynasty Typewriter is a great theater in Los Angeles and they've got uh, a lot of virtual shows happening and they've started opening their theater where they're live streaming shows on their stage. So you don't actually have to come to the theater to watch them, but it's like, so we're gradually getting to the point where we can do yes. live comedy, which I can't wait for. Yes. Very cool. Cause parking there is a pain, but it's, it's a beautiful location. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> um, Betsy, what do you have coming up? I know you've got, I'm assuming you still have your podcast, your two podcasts, right? Oh yeah, still got those. A Funny Feeling, which is the spooky one. And then We Love Trash, which is me and I know Gappy and just celebrating being trashy. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm on this cartoon called Duncanville that season two starts um, Sunday. Oh, my so God. Check it out on so Fox. Good. Wow. Congrats. Tune yeah. In. Thank you. Thank you. Cartoons yeah. are rad. Awesome. Uh, Ahmed, are. what um, – what, oh, the uh, – Big sister project is she gonna make you go work on next? Yeah, I'm just waiting for her to get another gig so I could uh, <laughs> join. <laughs> no, I'm just getting back out there. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot more stand up or slowly getting back out into the live people that aren't on a screen. <laughs> yes, very cool, very cool. And um, and uh, Maureen, what do you have coming up? Um, I've been, I actually have a cool thing coming up. I think it's going to be released soon as this, this, uh, immersive podcast, uh, like a, with Rosman. Oh, yeah. It's coming out soon. Um, yeah. So that's going to be coming out soon. And then working, working on another movie that I'm shooting next month. And me, Mary and Betsy wrote something during the pandemic that we were really mm -hmm. excited about. Like just, you know, trying to stay creative. And as the world comes back, I'm so excited for like so many more things that are coming down the pipeline. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, for joining us on the uh, Film Threat Watch Party. What a great movie with a lot of heart and a lot of fun. And there's nothing like watching a movie made by a bunch of friends. Nothing. Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you. much. It really was a party. Thank we had you. A so fun. It was a party. And it didn't feel like a Friday night. And my wife texted me and said, we really are getting food delivered from a friend somewhere. Yes. So yeah. I think, oh, my God. Ask I, you shall, you shall I, receive. <laughs> I think the next time you guys are on somewhere live, you should mention that. Hey, you know, wouldn't it be cool if somebody Done. could deliver? <laughs> right. So, we'll yeah. That. So, uh, before we go, I just want to let you guys know we have some uh, more watch parties coming up on Monday. We have a special one uh, called American Fighters. That's coming up on Monday. And then we have, let's see, I'm looking at my list, Bastards Row. Road, sorry, Bastard Row, Stealing Chaplin, Honesty Weekend, uh, Dark State, and so many more. So go to filmthreat.com for more info. Thank you so much, Maureen. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you so much, Betsy. Thank you so much for uh, Betsy's Ghost and yeah. Ahmed yeah. from all of us here at Film Threat. Mwah! Betsy's Ghost will follow you 